Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Today I'm going to be planning in my dashboard planner for the last week in March. This is my social media planner. And in the last week of the month, um, it's not the last, you know, there are a couple days in March that fall in the beginning of April, but so it's in essence the last week of the month. I like to have extra lines because I have once a month things that I need to do like my monthly marker and my my goals and that stuff so I like to try to use um, one of the home body pages because it has the extra lines so that's what we're going to do this week we'll have to franken plan it in because I do have my current week spread on the back side of this so but I'll show you that at the end um, I could replace both sides but the only thing really that's different <clears throat> I'm going to cover up these flowers anyway I don't care about these dots. The fonts are a little bit different, but I'm really just not worried about it. So we're gonna go ahead and use these. There are lots of different colors on this side, so I could do just about any color I want. I am so excited. If you haven't seen my flip through of the five um, Planners Anonymous Craft Smith books that are available at Michaels, I will link it in the cards up above. Um, but this book is, there are two different, um, book kits. Um, Books and Botanicals, the more recent one, that's the blue and green, and I just did a spread a couple weeks ago based on this one. And um, the older one, which was called, I think it was just called Book Lover, um, and that one, yeah, that one was before I joined. That was in January 2009, and I didn't join until late summer 2009. So the only thing I was able to order out of that kit was um, a weekly kit. I don't have the washi, I don't have the pen, I don't have any of the papers or the extra sticker kit. So, um, but I've used it a, a couple times. And when they came out with this book, I was so excited because I was like, I'm gonna do a spread combining what I've got of the two and it's gonna be awesome. So here we go, this is what I'm gonna do. In my flip through, I pointed out that these boxes would be a good size to use um, over here. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use a couple of these boxes. These two are more blue and they've got more of the succulents. These two are the reds and greens, burgundies, and they have more of the book theme. So I'm gonna use these two. I don't wanna cover every box, um, but definitely those two. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'll grab some tweezers. This one also has um, some checklists that are spaced very closely, not these, but they're ve spaced very closely to the lines over here. So I'm gonna use these. So I think the first thing I wanna do is put my two boxes over here because that's gonna help <clears throat> that's going to help me um, figure out the rest of it. So I'm going to use this one on Saturday because I post a little bit less on Saturday so it's okay that these lines are a little more widely spaced and I won't have as many. So I'm going to make sure I get the date covered because there's no way to not cover the date. So I want to make sure it's, it's either not covered at all or completely covered. And then this one I want to put kind of far away, not all the way up to Monday. I think I'll go Wednesday on this one. So same kind of thing. I'm going to make sure my Wednesday gets covered. And then I pulled the, um, the Be Happy Box Teresa Collins book um, because it had these really skinny little um, days of the week. And since these have gold foil on them, I'm going to use the gold foil ones because I never use them. And I'm going to replace my Wednesday and Saturday. I wouldn't have to do this. I mean, it's pretty obvious what days of the week they are, but um, the font is similar. It's all caps. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I think the um, Bright's sticker book also has some day covers that are similar to these as well if you're if you don't weren't able to get the Teresa Collins be happy box there we go okay now it's pretty much I think probably the only thing I wanted out of there all right so uh, I want to go ahead and use 
these. So I'm going to do a little sticker surgery to try to get um, six bullet points out of these. I'm going to cut this off flat. That way I can put the next one right up against it. Really close. I'm going to cut really close to the to the bullet point. Oh, it looks awesome. I think it looks really good. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I won't use one on this one because it's already got lines. I can draw, just draw in some bullet points. So we will use these on the rest and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'll speed it up while I do this. Um, awesome. I love it so far. Okay. Um, the next thing is, uh, let's see, let's cover up these cause I'm not going to use either of these headers. So I need, um, stat boxes. So let's see if there's anything in here that's small that I can use as a stat box. I could use these They're too small. These one, two, three, there are enough. There are nine. Oh, and there's um, habit trackers. Let's use, I think, let's use, mm, I can't decide, guys, round or square, can you tell me? Let's see how a round one looks. I'm afraid it's going to take up. Not really. I can still write around that. Maybe I'll use the round ones. My instinct is, of course, definitely to use the square ones. But I'm kind of like in the round ones. The square ones definitely fit better. Oh, decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll stick with square because it, well, but do I want the contrast? I'm going to go round. I'll use the square ones next time. Red with books. Red with books. This one's red with reading glasses. Oh, here's a pink with books. Okay, here's a, I don't know if I, so I, I hesitate to use this one because it's, the actual center of it is blue. I need one, two, three more. White, two, three. I think I'll stick with the ones that have the center as white. Except that's a lot of, that's like four red ones. Here we go. We'll do a blue one. And I have, I have this one that's green over here. So this one doesn't really have any to do or remember those kind of words in it in this color scheme. So I'm going to go to the kit which has here we go today to do little things. So we're going to use these. And I'm just debating do I want to pull little these two little numbers the 24 and the 27. I, I don't think I need to. Um, that way I have the full set if I want to do a, a month. So let's go ahead and do, I think to do, and then I want, I need to cover up these flowers. So I'm thinking I want to use this, one of these, a washi tape, like a, a big sticker strip like this. And there aren't any in this color scheme in this one. There are in this color scheme, but um, they don't really, I can't, I'm not really integrating them. And there aren't any in this one. So I'm going to bite the bullet and use my strip. And it's not quite long enough, but I'm going to, so I'm going to stick it though in the corner because I think around the discs will be more hidden. It'll be a little less noticeable. And I think I can use, I can white that out. First of all, let's white it out. But then the other thing I can do is use a little, tuck a little deco sticker in there. I think it'll be not quite as no noticeable that it's not part of the washi. So if we grab here we go. If I put a stack of books on there, 
or maybe even an open book since this has lots of open books let's put one of these open books to just kind of camouflage that a little bit like I said since it's tucked up under where the punch is I don't think it's going to be super duper noticeable no I don't think that's noticeable at all all right um, I need to put grab my words and put um, YouTube videos up there. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to print some more. One left. Okay. Um, let's try to bring some color up here somehow. So there were some strips. Some colored strips. These. That's too short. There we go. What about these? That'll work. I just need to decide what color. So green, red. There's more red over here. Maybe we'll go green. I could actually put two of them end to end with the gold on either side. That might be kind of fun. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? Sorry. Oh my gosh, you can't even tell. That is so awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay. Um, what, what can we do in the way of, I don't think there's anything else I want off of this. I could bring some books across here, like maybe part of one of these strips. Oh, habit trackers. Um, so I've got these three and you guys know I need three. So there's three there, but I think there were some in here too. Here we go. Habit trackers. Red, blue, just red and blue. And since I need three, I need two of one color. I either need to do all three red or all three blue or two and one. Or I could use these. I think I'll use these. I like that it's three different colors. So the question is, where do I put them? I could put them right here. Or I could go one, two, three. I need some quotes. I don't have any kind of quote down here. Or little icons. Is there a coffee cup? There is. Just looking at the colors it's right next to and I decide I want a red coffee cup. There we go, red coffee cup. That's better. Just looking to see if there's any other icons I can put on here. I could actually use, I was saying in my video where I reviewed these, um, what the heck would you use the Wi-Fi signal for, but to me it says like going online um, and since this is like my YouTube video filming schedule that makes sense actually I'm I am pleasantly surprised it makes sense I'm just looking for one to put down here why not a book there we go we'll put a book down there unless I find something more appropriate okay what do we have for deco in here quotes lose yourself in a book book lover books are magic I need I think I want these are these are some of these are deco I think I'm gonna have to um, get some other books out I'll be right back actually before I dig out a bunch of books I have this I still have this one sitting here off camera and um, I remembered it had this page of words so I could grab one of these as a weekend banner um, do more of what makes you happy. I love that. And it's gold, so again, we're picking up on the gold that we already have. Nice and skinny, no problem fitting it down here. Just getting it straight. Then I wonder if it's got a quote that's mostly black and gold that I could use over here. If I put... <clears throat> I'm only going to be able to fit two of those across there, so I could do one, one, two, three. I'm just, I'm still debating whether I want to use those or, or these. Because if I'm going to do three, I could do red, red, blue. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick them on there. I'm going to remove this. Um, I, I want extra lines, but I don't know if I need that many extra lines. So I'm freeing it up. I'm going to put it back um, until I decide what quote's going down there. Okay. 
So, Teresa Collins, let's see what's in here. I could also do, if there's a little bit, if the pinks aren't exactly the same, but they're kind of close. So even if the quote has a tiny little bit of pink, peachy pink, I think it'll be okay. I have no gold on this side, I just realized. All my gold is over here. Maybe I can find some gold. Is there a page of these? Here we go. Stop wishing, start doing. Is that too much gold? That could fit here. Does that pink match well enough? I like it. I'm going with it. It fits that space nice. So now I just need something here. Will these fit here? They'll be close. Magic can be found between the pages of a book. I like that. I'm a little worried about covering this up, to be honest. I like that. And it's more gold. So what if I do... I'm going to place this so that it covers that one little box. And then I'm thinking maybe this one for over here. But I could almost put this one sideways. I don't feel like it has a clear right side up or upside down. And then if I just find one more little thing for there, I'll be all set. Okay, Teresa Collins, we got anything for right here? This is fabulous. You are enough. I like that. You've got a beauty that's all your own. Be authentic. I don't, let's see, do I want a big black quote? I think this one. It's got a little bit of black, but not a ton. Let's just do a little more decoration. Where's that page of circles? Oh, they've got littles on here. I'm going to do the little. There we go. Okay. Let's do a plant. In the corner. Oops, and of course I wrinkled my page. I'm just debating do I need anything up here to kind of bring the two pages together. Um, I could put some succulents up there. Do I have, I have a little bit of succulent there. Cut it in half and put half on each page. I think I will. Wow. What, Jasper? Yep, that's pretty cute. Um, I could put a book up there. Just trying to bring bring everything across the pages. Yeah, we'll do a stack of books there. And an open book here. I think that's, I think I'm going to call that done. Um, I just need to trim these. There we go. Yeah, I think that's done. Looks pretty good. I don't have much more space. So, Okay, let me show you how I'm going to put it in my planner. So the first thing we need to do is Frank and plan this page. So I need to replace this with this. So I'm going to run, this is just the back of a piece of contact paper I used a while ago. I'm going to go tape runner all the way around the edge. And, oh, my tape runner died. Be right back. That's better. Okay, I'm going to line this up really carefully around the punches because that's the most important part to get lined up exactly. 
let it fall, press it down. Okay. There we go. There is my book loving spread for the in my social media dashboard planner for the last week in March. I hope you like this video. I hope it gets you excited to try some new stickers, some new techniques. If it does, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.